going on guys? It's me, Bunchboy21. And guys, there's something... Oh, sorry, excuse me. But something interesting that's happened at the moment in the Builder Base. And this is the first time, if I am correct, we've seen a little event for the Builder Base. And what it is, is that pretty much for the next seven days, I have done some of this. For the next seven days, um, the reward system is, changed, is restored every eight hours instead of every 22 hours. So I'm like to myself, that's not a bad idea to grind out a lot of loot. And what I should have done this morning is upgraded my barracks and I'll get that done, get the new unit done, and then start collecting whatever for the Lexa. Because what I'm trying to do at the moment with the Lexa is probably upgrade the storages. And then, um, yeah. Oh, I should have really um actually done the um, gem one actually while I'm at it. But the thing is, though, I am very close from maxing out the sneaky archers. And guys, I felt to myself, I'm not going to do a video with max sneaky archers until I've got them fully maxed out. I've decided not to do it at level 13. That may take a while. And also, I want to bring some more Cuphead videos because don't forget, there was Wolfenstein coming soon in the next few weeks. So that'll be awesome to see. But yeah, let's chit chat on the top of terms of battles. As well as that, I have got myself the level 7 clock tower. And also, we're going to be boosting it. And hopefully... Oh, excuse me. I had pizza for dinner. But um, yeah, we're going to activate this boost and see how much we can get. And this is going to be absolutely awesome. So a 9-minute boost. That's going to be long. And if once we defeated the base, and then it says congratulations, you win or loss, we will then um, check it out. Unfortunately, guys, I was going to say... Um, I was going to do a video of picking and randomizing the troops, but since this event popped up, I'm like, it's going to be a limited time ever. Limited time offer. I may do a, one of the mixed troops after certain Cuphead episodes. You may see a bit of a break of um, Duda at the moment, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out to you right now. So you're probably thinking, wait a minute, isn't this the video where you talk about random stuff? But I mean, random troops, but no, unfortunately, it's not. Sorry about that, guys. But just look at the amount we've got so far. That's just happening. It's just incredible. Unfortunately, that multi multi is going to be able to take out those doodars, so that's going to be quite upsetting. But at least we can start going around here and scavenge whatever we can and just get a bit of it taken out. So, if I'm correct, oh, okay, that does change it a bit. All right, I see. And yeah, those sneaky archers will continue it. Unfortunately, that um, level 6 multi multi will kill my level 12 um, doodars. But the good news is, level 7 will only be able to kill any of them, actually. Gosh, I didn't realize that. But yeah, it's a bit tricky at the moment, what I'm seeing. I have done some attacks with um, Baby Dragons, ba Beta Minions, and the Battle Machine. But that's quite hard to explain, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's been awesome. But I'm just going to clear out as much as I can around here. So if I can continue down there. Unfortunately, I've just realized as well as that there was a guard post. Guys, the Giant Cannon just does so much. I don't know if you've seen my videos or not, but the Giant Cannon does so much to the um, ground troops. Oh, wow, they all got flinged off. I'm not going to send any more out just in case, but my gosh, the amount of damage the Giant Cannon can do. It takes like every five seconds, and the health it takes out for Battle Machine is ridiculous, and I found that why is the reason, because the shot goes on forever, and since the Battle Machine has a hit, big hitbox, it goes through multi, 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 instead of just one, like all the small troops. Like, a bit more goes through multi, 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 but the troops just go through one, because how thick they are, or thin, actually, is how you say it. But, yeah, that's something crazy I wanted to talk about, but... Yeah, that's interesting, but yeah, Call of Duty, you can't wait for it. I think it's 23 days now at the time of recording. I don't know if you can see, there's a poster up there. But yeah, that's awesome. But I'm going to send the rest of my um, the archers anyway, just to finish off the, what we can do around here. And yep, I might send off the battle machine in a second, because we've got one minute left, and we do have a clock tower boost in use. So yeah, let's activate it. That was that was a pathetic use, because I put that battle machine way too close to the um, doodah. Uh, the giant cannon wasn't even locked for it. Okay. Oh, actually, I should have sent the battle machine off somewhere else because of the percent. I need to remember that next time. I really need to keep remembering. If we can't, if we're unable, sorry, don't say can't, say if you're unable to get the builder hall, go to somewhere else. Also, they have made a change. If you remember in Clash Royale, whenever you shot something, it would go on until it's done. And that's brilliant. Okay, so we've won that. Let's hop to another one. I'm sorry, but I'm just talking pretty much too quickly at the time, so I need to explain what I'm doing here. Um, pretty much, when... Bugger, I was going to say, the new update has arrived, so there are changes, there was a level 7 and level 6 Valkyrie, of where we tweeted that, so that's awesome, uh, what else I want to say, um, yeah, there's just been some tweaks and quirks, the game fixes, but yeah, what I was going to say is that, now, when something fires, it will go until it's done, if the, say like a bomber, this is a good example, say that the bomb in the night mode did its last um, throw, and it, it was the last one it dies, the bomb would go off, boom, and then the, any other defenses have to reset themselves, so pretty much like, for example, the double cannon takes 1.6 seconds, if the bar ends and it fires, you have to wait 1.6 seconds just because of refresh, unless you run out of time, but if you understand with me, that would be perfect, but it's a bit complicated how I'm going to explain it, but... 
I don't like this guy's wall because they're a bit low level in my opinion, so that's not good. You do have a high level um, multi mortar, so I've got to be careful about that. But having five army camps, a fifth army camp, sorry, is absolutely fantastic. And I am absolutely pleased we've got something to help out with the game because when I saw the amount of um, this game was offering with the troops, I was just like, yeah, we need another army camp because of a match, but I don't want to see three star attacks like all miners, because that nearly killed Clash of Clans, to be honest with you. I'm not going to be rude, but that really nearly killed the game, but, yeah, it, it was just it was just so annoying if it's going to be all the three star troops, but if you say like a troop that can get like two star at least, then yeah, that's quite shocked to see, but still good anyway. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and split up. I know I'm trying my hardest to split them up. It's just because of the timing, because it's a bit annoying, but oh well. It's a bit nice anyway, so I'm going to send a bunch off around there, and hopefully uh, I can send a few down there. So that'd be brilliant. Like, look at that, perfectly split up. Uh, I just want that crusher gone, so then I can proceed to the top with my battle machine, but the problem is I'm quite worried what I might see next. Oh gosh, I've just realised his roast is quite high level. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to send the rest off down there, and one down there. Um, we've got four left, so what I might do, actually, is I might save them. Yeah, I'm going to save them, and then send them off with the, with the battle machine, so... For goodness sake, it just went the wrong way I wanted to go. Brilliant. Um, no, it's gone the wrong way. No, 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 Come on. Uh, this isn't looking too good for the battle machine. It's not doing well at the moment, but... Oh, come on. It goes the wrong ways I wanted to go. Brilliant. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, um, oh, please, just get me the star, because I really need it. Thank you. Now, go for the army camp at the bottom. Oh, gosh damn it, you're not going for it. Brilliant. Um... Okay, wait for every defense to stop. I know it's a bit. I know it's a bit annoying, but it just makes the compute. It's the compute system because I think the giant cannon fired. But oh dear, we didn't win that attack. Uh, we'll do another attack. I know I'm speeding it too quickly because of the um, uh, mind of the um, clock tower going off. I already forgot what it was called. Gosh, wow, it would have been so pathetic of me to forget the name. Uh, oh, hold on, really? I can't send one down there. Um. What well, level's the multi mortar? That's a level four multi mortar, so that's good. I don't like what I'm seeing. You're upgrading the defense and a firecracker. Firecrackers are well good, although we're not using air attacks actually. So if it was the air bomb that was being upgraded, I definitely recommend going for an air attack if you've got the troop if you've got the troop levels. But yeah, for the moment, no, I don't think it would not. I don't think it would probably work. But oh well. Depends how you guys play. Because people play this game a bit differently. I, I don't know if you understand that, but. Some people find this way better than the other way. I know it's quite weird to say, but I've seen clips of it on the internet. My gosh, there are some people who who have. Like, there was a brand new technique in the, the tournament with I, Itzu. So I'm, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, but I'm a huge fan. But Itzu created this new army camp layout for the morning mode where you need to use the clone spell with the dragons and balloons. It was a fantastic free star attack for Builder Hall nine and ten, and yeah, it's incredible. But one thing I will say is that. They've definitely done, I'm pleased now, you can now challenge your friends in the night mode, so that's awesome. I will try and do a video with my personal friends, but it depends if they want to or not, because I do want to respect their privacy, but that would be absolutely incredible to do, and I know you guys love to see that, but what I'm just doing at the moment is I'm just taking out wherever I can. Uh, I think those ones are just going for whatever. Come on, I don't want to lose too much, but... Yeah, what I might try and do is I might try and send off as much as I can. Oh, that giant cannon is going to take all as many as it wants. Yep, I should have known. Oh, though, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear me. Uh, we've got a minute left. That's not looking too good at the moment. But, oh, thank goodness, some of them gone for the crusher. Oh, um, gosh damn it. Um, oh, there wasn't nothing around the base. No, I did check that already. Oh, well. Uh, good. That I love the fact that one just took out something at the top. That was really good to do. Um, oh, if I... Place them there. It's going to go for that, which actually isn't a bad idea. I'm not going to lie. That wasn't a bad idea to place it there. But I'm going to take the risk and just try and get it as down here as possible. Also, um, something's being distracted, which is phenomenal. Oh, come on. Please take it out. Please take it out. There is no way that double cannon can survive that much health. Brilliant. Um, right, fire again. Actually, that was perfect timing with the battle machine. I don't know if I was watching that properly, but it looked like it was in perfect range and timing. Unfortunately, that double cannon has survived a lot of health. Has like no barely any health at all. Uh, some has just popped on my computer. That says restart it now. I'm gonna click restart later. Hopefully that has an interrupt to the record. If it did, oh my gosh, I wouldn't have gone mad because that has already happened to a recording I was doing. So that's quite painful to see. Uh, do we have enough time? 
Uh, I don't know. Have we have we got enough time? Oh, we won that tap, but do we have enough? Yes, we have. I think this is the last one. Thanks to that extra minute we've got. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. Oh, actually, um, no, 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 no. No, 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 I know what I'm going to use for this attack. Uh, we're going to go all air, because I know this base layout so well, and yeah, air's going to be good. So if I just plonk them around here, just take it out. If this video is going to be short, guys, I'm sorry about that, but it's just ridiculous we managed to use the clock tower boost. Like, I don't think we've used the clock tower boost in the video in a very long time, actually. I think we've done it in a video, but it's been a while it has, thinking about it. Oh my gosh. But, yeah, this looks fantastic. <laughs> Off this attack. Um, oh, I shouldn't have sent two off down there. Oh well. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send like some off, and then yep. Yeah. Oh, glad I sent that baby dragon off. And I'm gonna send another one down there. Another one will come around there. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna send the battle machines. It's getting a bit kept hectic at the moment. I will save um, at least some of them. I'm gonna send one down there, and then boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna send the rest off there. No, oh, it's gonna get the roaster. Are they getting roasted? Or is some of them gonna survive? Okay, some of them have to survive, but unfortunately, my battle machine's. What is my battle machine doing? Okay, I'm I'm really I'm confused what the battle machine was doing, but oh my gosh, some of those beta minions. Okay, okay, one of them literally. Oh my gosh, yes, this is. That was a really good attack. Oh my gosh, that was actually really good. Wow, um, that was a really good attack after that air bomb's gone. Yet yeah, the time goes off, because you can see it waits for the game now, which I think is a superb, brilliant update to the game. Also, now the clan icons have changed a bit slightly, so that's quite interesting to say. Oh, okay, my opponent was attacking, but... Unless it's lagged a bit. Hold on, sorry. But yeah, that's quite impressive. I'm going to check out this guy again. Sorry if it's not loading. Hold on. Okay, so there's there's a bug at the moment. Um, right, I've, I've no idea what that means, unless I'm unable to um, watch his replay. Because I don't know. I really am not too sure what's happening right now, but... Oh, we've won that. Hey! So let's just count again what we've done. So we've 1-1. Uh, one, one. Oh, yeah, after the update doesn't show the replay, it's unfortunate. But we've 1-1, one, one, lost 1-1. One, one. And why at the moment? Oh, yeah, I've, I've all, I've, I was very close from going up. And, guys, um, I did promise myself I'll get a reward at 3,750. But I forgot what it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've actually forgotten what it was. Oh, yeah, I wanted to upgrade the wall. That's another thing I want to say. I was, like, was going to upgrade this wall and then... Uh, um, I may do some walls again just to finish them off at level 5. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, whoops. I may have forgotten something. Um, <laughs> Oopsie daisy. But yeah, that's absolutely fantastic to see. But actually, you know what? We've got to check out four replays because we've attacked four times. We've used the clock tower boost and now let's watch the replay. Okay. So the first one's this guy from Edigo GS05. And guys, I just want to say I've actually forgotten what it was when we get to 3750. I will probably do that in the next video, but ouch. But yeah, I also want to say another video. The other two Clash of Clans videos I have prepared is um Sneak Archers level 14 when that happens and 4,000 trophies if I get to it. And I want to do that on camera. I will let you know on Twitter when I'm doing that. But let's just focus on these attacks. And this one only lasts for 35 seconds. So yeah, this is um, not a bad one. Okay, so, oh wow, this guy literally went off all beta minions from the bottom. Uh, uh, here's the problem. If you send so many out, you're going to waste their ability. Because what I would do is I would deploy some to use their ability to take out some defenses. And then they send another load out to do it. That's what I would do just to help it more better. And yeah, like, you can just see that like, you've sent so many out, you've wasted their ability. Like, you could have just taken out an air defense. Long range is saving a lot of troops. Plus, there's a lot of ground defense. Like, ground attacks are really rough now with Builder Hall 7. But, Builder Hall 7 ground attacks are not bad. Although, Sneaky Archers can be invisible for 10 seconds. Thankfully, they don't go more invisible. They get extra health and damage at level 13. And, at level 14, they get an extra few in the army cap. So, thank goodness it's not. And, I'm not even joking. Like, I'll show you right now how many you get now in the army camp. It's, um... So, you go... Two. So, that's going to be about... I don't know how many was it? That'll be uh, 50. 50 you sneak archers. <laughs> That's crazy. So, unfortunately, we did lose one because, oh, we were 3% below. Wow, so I didn't even check. But let's take a look here. Oh, okay. So, you used all army camps of baby dragons. All right. So, you just... So, the baby dragon method was really good at Builder Hall 5. But I haven't seen it much lately at Builder Hall 
six, slightly six, and then seven, no, not much. He needs support like the beta minions. But yeah, it's quite nice to see that. And another new form of air attacks is four drop ships, which is a new one. And then the three loads of army camps of the um, two army camps of drop ships and three army camps of beta minions. So that's pretty much something to say. But yeah, we I've not seen much of baby dragon attacks, but yeah, they were damn they were really powerful back in the day. But sneaky uh, in my opinion, sneaky archers look like they're gonna be top of the league at um Builder Hall seven. I'm just saying they were top of the league around about Builder Hall six maybe and the Builder Hall five it was baby dragons, but as time moves on, yeah. That does include the bow machine at Builder Hall five and six as well. I just wanna say that. But damn yeah, that was crazy. As you can see, like those that I have some perfect air defenses to stop it. What was my other one? Oh yeah, it's there. <laughs> oh well. Uh let's just work out where else you sent okay. I see when you sent this out. And that's really nice to do. But yeah, that's quite impressive to see there was some more doing. Oh, I see. So oh you were on it and unfortunately um the dude are broke. But yeah, that takes a bit of a while actually just to um <laughs> oh well. Gosh, uh, we have two more replays to watch, and I think this was the third attack we did, I hope, and yeah, that's pretty impressive. So yeah, you can see, um, not bad, you, that was actually not a bad use of the bomber. You definitely used it, oh, look at that, that, I give credit to that, that was a really good bomber placement, I'm not going to be rude, but, oh wow, this guy's got level 13 sneak oranges, oh, the cloak looks so nice on it, oh, I'm really loving that. Also, apparently, wait a minute, does that affect level 14 as well? Because I can't remember. Sorry, unable to remember. Stop saying the word can't. It's not really a good word. It's a prophetic word. But, yeah, it looks like you were just going bombers, sneaker archers, and bow machine? Okay, that's up to you if you were going to use that. Alright, so, yeah, you send a few more off there. You'll just tip damage in it. And, yeah, I prefer the diamond base layouts just because they look really good. And they also really do stop. They, like, diamond base layouts really do stop Rage Barbarians. I'm just saying that, in my opinion. Plus, a lot of people are pointing their crushes next to the Builder Hall. Which, to be honest with you guys, I will personally do that just to stop anything ground coming near. Like, the Bow Machine, for example. But, yeah, I definitely don't think there'll be another... Um, Crush up Builder Hall 8. I'm not sure. I definitely do see an air bomb in the multi. I even see it. I definitely see a multi mortar and an air bomb at Builder Hall 8. I can definitely see that. But a third crusher, I really don't. But that's just my opinion. What else could we expect? Oh, yeah, an extra um, collector, maybe. I definitely do think they're going to increase the collector's um, stats. And we all know they're all going to go to level 8. But one thing I've never noticed so far, unfortunately, this is quite upsetting. Why hasn't the Builder Hall 7 cogs gone? Like, they're not spinning on everything. I don't know why, unless it's something when we upgrade, and I don't know. Oh well. But you can see here, my opponent was literally just coming from the left side and just DPSing whatever he or she could. Okay, and you send off um, a bomber that targets the wall instead of itself. Like, look at that, that was nice. Oh, you send off the bomber machine now, and it's level 5. Probably going to upgrade that. But, what but guys, what I'm doing is that once I get the sneak arch to level 14, Bow machine to level 15. Uh, maybe upgrade some elixir stuff and then go finish off my bow machine max. That's what I might do actually now. When I say, excuse me, when I say upgrade my stuff with the clicks, I mean the um, uh, gold storage. Actually, I might do that during the. Um, although actually, I might as well get these sneak archers finish off where their max level is. But yeah, I definitely want to do a collector. What else I wanted to do? Um, it was a collector. Now, what am I saying? Oh, oh, do you max up, you max up your collector straight away? So you're gonna love the reward the loot you're gonna save. But uh, collector, gem mine. That's what I'm thinking of. Gem mine, gold storage, um, the barracks, and yeah, that's pretty much all they can think of. And the bow machine, but yeah, oh well. But yeah, it's definitely nice to see this. Okay, this is the one we were trying to watch, but then it glitched out, unfortunate. So yeah. So if I'm bright, you then deploy a lot of stuff around the bottom. But I love the fact you're just... Like, this is really good at the moment. This is what I was talking about using beta minions. You're spreading them out very nicely. You're taking your time with them. And yeah, that's really good to see. I have to give you a pre I give you appreciation of that. You're taking your time with your beta minions. But in a second, I think you started sending them out a lot. But wow, those level 7 laboratory and clock tower really are... Sorry, star laboratory really do look nice. But yeah, okay, so you start, so you finish off as much as you can. Oh yeah, I've upgraded the mines and push traps to uh, max level, by the way, as I could. Because it was cheap and I also recommend you know, like, yeah, you might as well get your traps out of the way. Guys, the traps will just help you so much. Like, I'm not going to upgrade the mega traps at the moment, but yeah. 
Okay, so this is where everything comes out. So you send off law, and then this is where it gets disconnected. But if we just watch at the moment, you've got so many um, beta minions. Oh my gosh, there is literally hundreds and hundreds of them. Wow, and oh my gosh, the firecrackers are doing absolutely perfect. Oh, you get a star, and then I think, yeah, you get a second star. Okay, so this base can get two starred. Oh dear, I mean, I have, I have been... I've almost been freestyled with Night Witches. I'm not even joking. And then, did you ever send your battle machine off? Because I don't think you did. Hold on. Uh, let's just see. Because I don't want to bore you out. Because if it said, if it looked like three minutes, I'm like, yeah. I think you may have lagged out. Which really could have helped. Because I've always you. I will probably go from the top, really. Just because of the amount of the way. Although, uh, the giant cannon would be slightly in the way. But, yeah, it seemed like you disconnected, team. But, still give it credit to that. Guys, that is probably an absolute crazy episode. We've managed to um, use the clock tower boost to save me so much time. And it was awesome just doing those attacks. And I may do that again, actually, just for fun. And then we go back through the replays again. But, yeah, well, I've said earlier, you may not see much of um, Clash Clans at the moment just because of what's going on. So I definitely want to try and finish it off Cuphead. And we're not even that far in. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just quickly get that done. It takes a while to upgrade stuff in Clash of Clans. So that's what I'm currently trying to do inside at the moment but yeah it's gonna be really nice and oh yeah i can upgrade some stuff but yeah definitely the push traps is now 30 instead of 25 uh you can't up you cannot upgrade the spring traps unfortunate but the mines is now 89 but yeah guys i'm gonna be ending off today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video guys can we just leave like 10 likes in today's video that'll just be absolutely like just 10 likes guys that'll be absolutely incredible I'd love to know in the comments below, guys, what builder hall you are at the moment and what you're enjoying about the game so far. Like, do you love the new update and do you love this new event? It is the first event we've ever seen and it's absolutely fantastic. And guys, I just want to say this. Thanks for the support to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have an awesome day, everyone. Take care. Goodbye.